Good afternoon, Poké Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 12 video, bringing you a Tyranitar team. Now, we did already run Sand on the channel in the not so long ago past, you know, um, but we ran hip out on with that team because I made the call. I thought, hey, um, Tyranitar is probably not good because Zacian's in the meta. So here we have a team from NUE. We'll leave a link to their stuff down below in the description if I can find it. Uh, where they run a Tyranitar. Um, so let's see what it does. I'm curious. I mean, this Tyranitar isn't run as like a complete super hard commit to Dynamax Tyranitar. It's kind of run like, hey, I'll sit here. I'll T-Wave you. I'll click Assurance and I'll hopefully do something. And also it sets the, the sand, which is really decent when, it's, when you try to, you know, chip opposing Sashes. In all honesty, it deals with Calyrex really well. Calyrex Shadow because all you have to do is click one dark move on it and then wait till the sand finishes it out. And there's also a bronze on here. This bronze suck set is, is is cheesy as all heck. So I, I'm, I don't know if I'll get to use it today just because I don't typically like to rely on things like hypnosis uh, and ally switch. But hey, it, it might come in handy. I mean, it does make sense. This team does have a lot of ground weaknesses. This team has a lot of fighting weaknesses. Guess what doesn't care about those bronze on also triple steel types on this team respect right steals best type in the game clearly doesn't care about fire pokemon at all so i'm, I'm totally excited to see where this team takes us the rest of the team's kind of self-explanatory we know that oh you know thunderous clicks tailwind and rillaboom clicks grassy glide but yeah tyranitar let's see what it does also i'm a little bit under the weather today so excuse my voice i will say that in advance i don't know i got i i, I got sick but it's not the c word so i, I guess i'll be okay regardless with that said let's get on to today's battles first battle Again, someone with probably the best name in all of Pokemon. Let's see what they're going to bring. I think, obviously, they want to cheese us with Trick Room as much as possible. And boy, do they have means to set it up. They have Palkia. They have Calyrex Ice. They have Gothitelle. They have Redirection. They have Screens. They have Torkoal. Terrifying. Now, what I think the best lead would be... This Dialga doesn't have Trick Room, by the way, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I mean, I have to consider what their lead is going to be. It's either Palkia and Ndidi, or it's going to be Palkia and Goth. It, it, it has to be something along those lines. But, but we do have Taunt. We do have Taunt on Thunderous. Issue is, yeah, Ndidi. How about this? We go double steel type leads. Because we do have speed swap on this guy, which could come in handy, make us very slow. We'll bring the Tyranitar in the back. And then Zacian. Zacian is never a bad Pokemon to bring, right? Zacian always feels like the right Pokemon. No matter what you do, it's just always the Pokemon that's just like, hey, I could be back here. I'll wait till the Trick Room is gone. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Now, I think, um, does this Zacian have... Okay, it's an imprison. It's an imprison sacred sword set. Got it. Okay, they did Goth and Palkia, which is one of the leads that we predicted. Now, can we do something about it? Is the question. We actually don't have Trick Room on this set, unfortunately. Um, I could try to do this first. We could always speed swap next turn. I think doing this is like you know my best play, at least for now. Now, about this goth, what am I going to do about that goth? I can't switch. I can't do much. Wait, can I switch? I'm afraid to click it. Is this a competitive goth? I'm not going to click it. I don't think the switch is even necessary. I'm just going to stick around. Go for the worm wind. Call it a day. We'll see what happens. Now, goth could fake out. Goth could help a hand. Goth can trick room. Goth can do many things. Goth could foul play. But nonetheless, I think we're not in an awful position. I think there are definitely worse positions in the game to be in. We're going to Dynamax. I don't know if this means because we're faster. It probably does because this is not meant to be a Trick Room Dialga in the slightest. They are also going to Dynamax. So they're either going to Trick Room with Goth or I'm about to get Hypnosis. I can't tell which one. I mean, I honestly can't complain about it, though, right? I, I can't complain about it because I literally clicked the same button. 
sometimes going for 60% accurate moves tends to not be the worst thing in the world. They could have also ally switched there, which, you know, could have helped. All right, they don't fake out. Here's a worm wave. <laughs> Talk about damage. Go back to Sinnoh Palkia. <laughs> Holy. Life or worm wind, they do clip it. They hit it. Do we hit ours? Hold on. Do we hit ours? That is the question. They also hit us with the worm wind. Thankfully, it does not do enough damage to us. Okay, hold on. If we hit ours, it's fine. Oh. Well, if we hit ours on the Gothitelle, it's fine too. That, that'll show Gothitelle. So they essentially ruined our Dynamax. Everyone's hitting Hypnosis today, folks. Every last one of us. That's kind of funny. I mean, I'm not even mad about the Hypnosis because <laughs> I did it too. Um, we, we just both had a very... How, how would I say this in a nice way? A very anti-competitive turn is what that felt like. It's like, okay, let's just roll the dice here. Um, I guess I have no reason not to do it to the Torkoal too. Um, this is going to feel really bad to do, but like, what is my Dynamax Pokemon doing on the field right now? Like, eh, it's not doing much. Let me switch in. Oh, I can't. Okay, so it, so it does it does tell me. Cool. That's good to know, Gothitelle. Thanks for letting me know. Well, I guess I'm stuck here then. I have to do my mandatory turn, so. Oh, well, I guess I just waste the turn Dynamax. That's fine. The good news is that Gothitelle also has to do its mandatory turn. I have to make sure I outspeed. Oh, we, we missed that one, huh? Well, there's the switch that I wanted, I guess. That's one way of looking at it. I inevitably got the switch that I wanted. Torkoal was the fastest thing on the field. If I hit the Hypnosis, that would have been a little too extra lucky. Uh, but it's fine. Because we have Stone Edge and we have Behemoth Blade. Now, I don't know if I double into this Torkoal or if I protect first or like what, what I do. This Goth definitely has Ally Switch. It already burnt its mandatory turn of the Sleepies. Hmm. Yeah, it's a rough call here. I do have Foul Play. I also have Assurance. I have Thunder Wave and Stone Edge. I think I definitely knock out the Torkoal if I can. And just for now protect. Just for now. Just in case I'm not able to one-shot. I know Torkoal tends to be very defensive. And if I'm not able to one-shot, I could be in trouble. They withdraw the Torkoal. Okay. Nothing... Yeah, Calyrex doesn't want to take a Stone Edge either. I was about to say, nothing they have wants to take a Stone Edge. You definitely don't want to take a Behemoth Blade. Interesting decision. Here's my Protect. Just because I feel like a Hypnosis is coming my way if that wakes up. We do connect with the Stone Edge. Big damage onto Calyrex. I will definitely take that to the bank and run. They are weakness policy, though. What do we do? Either the Calyrex protects and relies on the Gothitelle to wake. Or the Calyrex just lets itself go down here. Like, I'm low-key considering Assurance into Gothitelle. I think so. I think they want to preserve Calyrex. I'm going to do this. There's no way they don't protect Calyrex here, right? Wow, man. This is why I, d this is why I don't understand Pokemon sometimes. They win for the read. Oh, it doesn't matter. Awesome. Now we need the assurance to KO. I'm not entirely sure. It is dark type stab. Titar making the showing in today's episode. Starting the day off nice and fresh. Titar is actually like a super necessary in this battle. I'll be entirely honest. I don't think I would have been able to win this battle without the Tyranitar. Tyranitar is ironically also a very good Pokemon into Evil Tall. Like, what does Evil Tall do to Tyranitar? Absolutely nothing. But then, of course, the Zacian on the team will do much to Tyranitar. Tyranitar only works here because there's no Zacian. 
That's essentially the way it works. All right, we're going to Stone Edge. And we're going to Sacred Sword. We might as well attack, right? They're going to get... Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, that works too. We beat these. We did it. We did it. Tyranitar getting the victory. Reshiram Necrozma Duskman. Now that is a combination that you do not see every day. All right. Um. Also, you got like Mimikyu here. You got a, a Milotic here. There's a bunch of cool Pokemon on my opponent's side of the field. I got to think about what I do to their Necrozma. I mean, realistically, my team, my Tyranitar does very well into the majority of their team. I like unironically, it does really well into Reshiram, does really well into Necrozma. I just have to set it up. The issue is Necrozma also does well into Tyranitar. So we do have that little bit of uh, overlap there. I think for, for the sake of a lead, we do Dialga. We could do Dialga and like gain some speed control here. Yeah, I think Dialga Thunderous, or Tornadus, excuse me. I think that's fine. I could even do Dialga and, like, Rilla. Because they have Milotic. But I like Speed Control. So I'll do Dialga, Tornadus, Titar in the back with Zacian in the back next to it. I think that's fine. I think that should be A-OK. -okay. Now, will it be? Who knows? <laughs> Me and my opponent are both standing on things in the middle of the ocean. Mimic Unicrosma as their lead. The issue with this lead is where's the trick room? Nobody knows. It's hiding. It's hidden. I'm going to make a uh, baller prediction. I'm just going to go ahead and flash cannon here. I don't want to commit the trick room, at least not yet. And I'm just going to taunt Necrozma. I have a feeling it's going to be the Necrozma trick room just to sketch me out. Like I ain't like I was born yesterday. Now we are top ladder. We're like 150 right now on the ladder. So my opponent clearly should know what they're doing. I mean, they also have to expect me to maybe trick room myself. Thing is, the taunt on Mimikyu makes no difference. I could, I could theoretically knock out either one of these Pokemon, right? I could knock out the Necrozma, or I can at least stop the Trick Room on both of these Pokemon. That's unfortunate. That means that they're gonna Trick Room on Mimikyu, and I'm about to be sad. But hey, oh well, we're playing. We're playing in Trick Room. I'm dying. I thought I would be okay to record until I started speaking. Now I'm realizing this is kind of hard. But we'll be fine. Taunt. Cool. They sneak. They're expecting me to trick room. I'm losing my Dialga here. That's for sure. Well. At least I broke the Mimikyu's neck. Before going down. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, Dialga. And now Max Quake into Dialga spot. Big cry, big sad. That's a rough one. That is definitely a rough one. I'm trying to think about what I do now. Because, like, that special defense. I could T-Tar foul play. I think that's a pretty decent decision. We also got to be a little bit concerned with the speed control in this game. I mean, they could still set up Trick Room if they want to. I could T-Wave them, but I think the foul play is the play. Does this mean I am Dynamaxing? Good Leer foul play. Hold on. Am I about to big brain my opponent? Leer foul play, baby. Let's go. This is theoretically a plus three stab attack right now. Get out of my field, Tom. <laughs> oh, that is funny. That is 
absolutely hilarious. I don't even care that you trick room. I'll play in trick room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am so... I, I know they were not expecting to get clapped like that. <laughs> Yo, the leer though. Okay, Landorus. I have Icy Wind. Hold on, this is like just fine. The Intimidate does suck a little bit, I'll be honest. But we have Foul Play. So it's not even that serious. Actually, I think I clicked Dynamax here. Like, I, I don't have a better Dynamax option, so I'm gonna have to click it eventually. So I think I just max darkness plus icy wind because the max darkness will go before. Yeah. Do I leer again? Because like, hear me out. I'm going to, I could icy wind. They can't dynamax though. The icy wind will inevitably help them next turn. That's the issue that I'm, I'm, I'm concerned with. So I think we leer instead. I don't want to help them. Last thing I want to do is help my opponent. <laughs> All right, Cherish Ball Titar. Do it for me. Honestly, that last turn was like peak Poke Sports. That was peak Poke Sports right there. I, I don't think I could do anything better than that. Titar foul play. Lando protects, as it should. But hey, our goal here isn't to uh, KO, at least not yet. The Mimi, I'm not even worried about. I'll keep clicking Lear until the end of the game. If it really wants to burn me here, it probably is just going to burn me, but fine. Oh, it's taunting me. Okay, so I guess now I have no choice but to go for Icy Wind. This is a negative one, and it's through Protect, so it should not do that much damage. Oh, but we crit through Protect. Cool. And we crit through the negative one. Yo, Tyranitar is making a showing. Tyranitar doesn't care. It's like, this is my one chance on the channel. I have to make it count. <laughs> oh, T-Tar. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly so impressed. I don't even know what to say. Okay, this is still the best uh, damage output here. And now we have no choice but to Icy Wind because they taunted us, so. We max Darkness again. Still very decent damage onto Landorus. Like, I can never complain about that much damage. All things considered. They're probably so afraid. Yeah, they're afraid because they think I have weakness policy. Oh, this is hilarious. I'm focus sashed. <laughs> they think I'm weakness policy. I think they realize they got to undo the trick room fast. They made a big mistake. Because I'm pretty sure the Mimikyu was supposed to go by now, so it, it has to be Trick Rooming this turn. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Here we go. We're back in regular. So, you know, we click Tailwind. Oh, no, we can't. They taunted us. That is right. They taunted us. I mean, we have a Zacian in the back. They're still doing us a favor. Regardless. Reshi's coming out? Okay. I, I click this move, right? I'll be honest. Reshi is not what Zacian wants to see. But it is what it is, right? Okay, this is not an Assault Vest, Reshi. Interesting. Don't know what that means for us, but it is good to know what their item is. Except we don't really have a game 2 to where it would matter, but oh well. I'm going to keep slowing down the Mimikyu for what it's worth. Oh, by another Rockfall. They haven't clicked Willow yet. And I don't think they have Willow if they're clicking Taunt. I'll take any damage on Reshiram. What? Okay, so like now I will click Icy Wind. I mean, their Mimikyu is going to outspeed everything. Do they not have another attack? They have Shadow Sneak. They have Taunt. They have... What else? I don't know. I'm going to click Stone Edge. And Leer if I can. I still can't Leer. Come on, man. I don't want Icy Wind. I don't think they hit Thunderous or Tornadus. So I think this is fine. Switch. 
Watch, this is me reading a Max Wormwind. Just <laughs> Guess you wait. Alright, let's see how this turn plays out. Mimi uses player off into my T Tar. It does hurt a lot, but we hang in there. And they Earth Power. Okay, they doubled in the T Tar. That's unfortunate. Ooh, what do I do now? Sreshi is an issue. Hmm. I'm not liking where I am right now. I'm gonna turn to this stupid trick room we have left. Kind of a lot, right? Three. Yucky. I can't Icy Wind because it helps them. I mean, it doesn't matter because they're already slower, but like, why would I make it? It, it wouldn't do enough damage for it to matter. So I think I just Leer and Protect. And then if for some reason I'm able to live a fire move from Reshiram, then we will definitely one shot it for what it's worth. So we got a Leer once. And I think after we get taunted this turn, we just Icy Wind the rest of the game. Oh, wow. Never mind. We won't even get that chance. Mimikyu is going to put up a fight. Blue Flare. If there's anything I learned from playing Reshiram on stream, those don't connect all the time. <laughs> so I think we got nothing better to go for. This is stab plus resisted, so it goes right back down to 100. I think Behemoth is still the highest damage output, right? Stab is 1.5, resisted is divided by 2. Oh no, so then Sacred is better. I don't know, they're negative 1 anyway, so I think both KO. We're plus 1. They taunt us, okay. I just need to live a blue flare or dodge a blue flare. Nope, I think I lost. <laughs> no, that was such a good game, though. I can't believe I lost that one after. Every I mean, the restroom was the one Pokemon that could beat my whole team. And I didn't I didn't knock out this Mimikyu soon enough. This Mimikyu constantly changing the, the weather and uh, not the weather, the, the the rooms on me and constantly changing the speed tiers really screwed me up. Anyway, GG. OK, we have a Veltal on this team. Which is like kind of what Tyranitar is meant to deal with, right? Like, there's literally nothing Eveltal can do to Tyranitar. I don't know if I leave with Tyranitar simply because of, you know, they have Intimidates and stuff. I think it's definitely a backmon, if anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead with uh, Dialga. I'm going to maintain speed control, hopefully, with Tornadus. Bring Zacian, bring Titar. I think it's pretty straightforward here. Those are probably the four Pokemon that you will end up bringing the most time because typically teams have a set of four that you're going to get very comfortable with and deal with the meta very well. And then the other two are just kind of filler picks to just help with different matchups. I think for the sake of this team, those four are definitely the four mons that you choose almost every single time. But hey, we'll see how this last battle turns out. Yveltal, Reggie, Eleki. I mean, fine, I guess. We got Tailwind. And I think we click it, right? I think we definitely click it. Now, do we knock out the Eleki or we knock out the Yveltal? Yveltal the thing with the Yveltal is that... We're going to have a way to deal with it later. Let me, let me look at their team. Do they have any other floaty Pokemon? They do have a Bronzong. I just don't think the likelihood of them bringing Bronzong is really high. So I'm just going to Max Quake on the Regieleki. For the sake of Max Quaking. And I'm also going to click Tailwind. Because we want to go fast. And then we'll worry about the Veltal when the T-Tar comes in. Now I'm assuming they're going to Dynamax. Oh, wait. They didn't Dynamax either one of these? That I did not expect. I wonder why that is. The Alga should not be outspeeding a Evil Tall, I don't think. 
At least not before the Tailwind. He didn't Dynamax either one. Okay. Honestly, that's good and bad because it means they're going to save their Dynamax for something else. Uh, yikes, that hurt. Unfortunately, the uh, Regilecki still decided to outspeed us. Even in Tailwind. <laughs> cool. And it's Life Orb's not even Scarfed. Okay, so that's just a, a speed calc problem. Oh, well. It is what it is. I mean, Alecky typically outspeeds anything, no matter what, so. Welcome to the world of Reggie Alecky. <laughs> Not only that, it gets a move that slows everyone else. Hot take. If uh, Reggie Alecky did not get Electroweb, it would suck. That's my hot take. Okay, they're just going for that. Am I, do I care? I don't know. I don't think so. Now, I am in Tailwind. They're going to bring in Zacian here a thousand percent, right? Wait, they have a Zacian, right? I think so. And this could be my chance to imprison it while I have the Tailwind up. So I think I'm going to take that chance. Oh, no, they had Groudon, right? Okay. All right. Makes sense. Um, fine, though. We double that grout on. Like I said, Yveltal, deal with later. And now it's looking like it's an Assault Vest to Yveltal. Definitely ignore it until the end of the game. This is definitely looking like it's about to be a Dynamax Tyranitar. So we got to Max Worm Wind it as soon as possible. And we got to click Behemoth Blade as soon as possible as well. No Tyranitar. No, uh, I said Tyranitar. Grout on? Dynamax Grout on. They withdraw Yveltal into the Ensign. I mean, fine. It's still going to be double damage. Like, yeah, you won't get the, uh, the plus oneness. They're not Dynamaxing. They are confused on who to commit the Dynamax to, or they're just waiting for my Dynamax to run out. I don't think Groudon's going to like this very much, unless it is a Soul Vested. Yeah. Groudon didn't like that very much. I... I fine and now that they only have Yveltal as the competent Dynamax Mon and now that they can't swap instants constantly on Intimidates I think this is fine I think I just swap out the Zacian preserve it while I can they're gonna start clicking Airstreams with the Yveltal I think what I gotta do is I gotta have this Yveltal be the last Pokemon alive so I gotta throw everything I have into this Incineroar no matter what and what I love about this Dialga set is that it has Rockfall. So the one thing I can do is just click Rockfall on the Ensign and knock it out, ignoring the Shuckaberry entirely. And I think if we're going to try to win this uh, guaranteed fashion, or as guaranteed as possible, we, we want to make sure that we switch in the T-Tar now just to preserve the stats on the Zacian. Now, I could have taken the shot into the Evil Tall there, but it just wouldn't have done as much damage. Actually, I probably should have taken the shot now that I'm thinking about it, because uh, if they airstream once, I'm going to be slower. And I will never get my shot, which is unfortunate. But tis life. We are still snarled, unfortunately. So this might not even knock out the instant. This honestly could be Dynamax instant. In all reality, it wouldn't be a bad option for them. Okay, no, it's Dynamax Yveltal as it should be. Cool. Dynamax, Assault Vested Evel Call. I'm some reason not too afraid here because it means it doesn't have Heat Wave. See how much a Max Rockfall does to this Ensign? Oh, that is still amazing damage that I'll never complain about, ever. And they were not Citrus, so they are probably Shaka. Or they could be Safety. They go for the Darkness into my poor little Dialga, but it's fine. Because they didn't airstream. The fact that they're not airstreaming is hilarious to me. Followed by the Flare Blitz into the T-Tar. T-Tar will eat this for breakfast. It's just going to do a little bit more recoil damage onto the Ensign. Unfortunately, not enough for the Sandstorm to knock it out. It is Safety Goggles Ensign. It didn't take sand damage. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. Um, I think since it's a Soul Vested, I'm going to kind of ignore it with... Dialga? 
Since we know it's safe the goggles, we can go for the earth power. It doesn't actually matter. I guess power gem is the exact same thing. Oh, no, earth power is a little bit stronger. <laughs> so let's go for the earth power. Um, Now what? We could T-wave. Oh, we could T-wave. Hold on, hear me out. T-wave bypasses the airstreams. They would need two airstreams to outspeed my Zacian in the back. This is going to be huge. Yeah, I think this T-wave is going to be huge. My T-tar is fast, dude. I mean, this is probably max speed T-tar. It is focus sashed. All right, knocking out the Ensign. Gorgeous. Gonna get a crit. Probably didn't matter. I'm assuming that Dialga is gonna take the shot on my T-tar here. Not Dialga. Yveltal is gonna take the shot on my T-tar. No, that's a darkness. They don't like Dialga. Listen, Dialga was done. Dialga was negative one special defense, negative one special attack. It's Dynamax turns are all over. But I'm pretty sure this is a nice little checkmate for my opponent. My Tailwind does run out, but hey, it's fine. So I think we are pretty set now that we got the T-Wave off. Dude, that T-Wave on T-Tar was huge. T-Wave is so great on any Pokemon. And being able to T-Wave a Veltal is so good. Because typically T-Wave is on a Grim Snarl, you can't prankster the dark types, you know? But T-Tar doesn't care. Alright, yeah, we just Stone Edge here. Let's see what a Behemoth Blade battle was cancelled. We won't even get to see the attacks happen. Ah! But you know that was GG. You know the Behemoth Blade would have done its whole health bar, and then the Stone Edge would have been able to pick it off. I mean, honestly, we do have the chance of missing Stone Edge. But I'm pretty sure since it was Assault vs. Yultal, they had no Heat Wave. They had no nothing to really knock out our Zacian, So it was pretty much GG. Anyway, let's get you guys this amazing rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Tyranitar team. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed by Tyranitar. I am visibly in awe and visibly shocked. Now, I will say, before we start jumping to any conclusions, we did not face a single Zacian today. Right? Can we all just, like, think about that fact? We didn't face a singleization today. Um, which, I mean, is fine. But that's just something to throw out there. Because Tyranitar, typically, that's the one Pokemon it really does hate. It doesn't really have too many Fighting-type weaknesses in the... Like, there aren't too many Fighting-type Pokemon in the meta. Zacian's kind of the only one that can really carry a Fighting-type move that isn't an Urshifu. So, you know, it, it doesn't like the Behemoth Blade either, by the way. The focus sash does do nicely though. I mean, of course, if we can get the if we can live one hit with the Tarantar, we can maybe get a lucky T wave on a Zacian and then kind of deal with the Zacian with the uh, Dialga Max Quakes. You never know. All in all, match was very fun. I guess maybe that's why they have the Bronzong there, because Ally Switch. That that makes sense now. Okay. So if you see Zacian, you bring Bronzong. Got it. All all makes sense now. Anyway, grab this rental code while it's out, because I have no idea how long a um, they're going to keep it out for. But I do think Tarantar has a place in this meta, and I think that um, this team does a pretty good job of showcasing that. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below, and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. I'm going to go cough my brains out and drink a little bit of water and have a tea. Have a great night. Peace out. Hopefully, I feel better tomorrow. We'll see. Bye-bye.